The end of 2017 is almost upon us, and while we sit here waiting for it to finally die, I figured now would be a good time to, you know, take a look back at it. Because apparently, I like pain. And while there certainly were some high points in regards to films in 2017, see my previous video for that one, there were a lot of really crappy things as well. So this is what went wrong with films in 2017. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload fresh content. Here is a problem that's not in any way new, but certainly hit a fever pitch in 2017. Franchise fatigue, or being sick and tired of everything being connected to a larger series. This year saw several big franchises release films only to be fairly disappointing at the box office. One example is Transformers The Last Night that wound up having the worst opening weekend haul of the entire series. Admittedly, that could also be because people are tired of seeing Michael Bay do, well, Michael Bay stuff. But couple all of that with the fact that more and more people are speaking out publicly about the lack of originality in Hollywood, and you've potentially got a pretty big problem on your hands. Now admittedly, there are some franchises that are less affected by this than others. For instance, despite being super divisive online, The Last Jedi is still making just all of the money. But even still, we're starting to see more and more of a public outcry against big franchises. And while it may be overall fairly quiet right now, it is indeed growing and may have even contributed to the summer movie season this year just wasn't very good. And that's not me making a statement about the quality of the films released this summer, although there were quite a few crappy ones. That's just me pointing out that the numbers at the box office weren't very good. In 2017, the total summer box office gross failed to cross $4 billion domestically for the first time since 2006. That means that this year was the worst summer movie season in over a decade, which just really is not what you want. And yes, there were some fairly successful films released during those months. I'm looking at you, Wonder Woman, but many other films failed to deliver. I've already mentioned Transformers 5, but there was also films like The Mummy, Alien Covenant, Dark Tower, and The Emoji Movie, all of which not only saw low box office draws, but also massive amounts of hate from both critics and audience members, which makes sense because they were bad. Like, really bad. Did you see Alien Covenant? I'm an Alien fan. I wanted to like that film. I desperately tried to like that film, but it sucks. Like, so much that it makes me physically ill. And as I said, there were bright spots. I already mentioned Wonder Woman, but there was also Spider-Man Homecoming and Dunkirk, all of which performed quite well, but it doesn't look like those films were enough to overcome the other lackluster offerings this summer. And for the industry as a whole, things only really got worse from there. Now we come to the part of this year-end wrap-up that's the hardest to talk about, but also probably the most important. This year saw a lot of allegations of sexual harassment and even outright assault by prominent members of Hollywood. Now I know that this isn't something that we talk about on this channel that much, and trust me, I would much rather be listing the ways that Citizen Kane went wrong or being paid by Disney to talk about how great The Last Jedi was, but this is a pretty important discussion that we kind of need to have right now. Seemingly every day a new actor or actress comes out and accuses some producer or director or even fellow actor of being sexually inappropriate in some way. While I'm not going to get into a debate about individual accusations and whether or not they are true here, the sheer fact that there are so many of them is seemingly indicative of a systematic problem that has apparently been allowed to exist within the industry for years. Now, one could argue that it is a problem with society overall, but I'm just a guy who makes videos about movies on the internet and cracks little snarky jokes about them, so let's try to keep that in this wheelhouse. And the people coming forward and sharing their stories are really starting to shake up Hollywood. We're seeing that in films such as Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World, which saw massive reshoots due to the recasting of Kevin Spacey with Christopher Plummer after accusations against Spacey came out. And huge superstar producers are getting the ax from projects as well. Harvey Weinstein and Brett Ratner are just two examples of people who are seeing former partners drop them due to public outcry. Now it is great to see people coming forward with these stories. That's definitely something that went right this year. But it's hitting films really, really hard, just 
messing with them on a foundational level. And any list looking at the problems with films this year kind of would be remiss to not mention it. Because the fact that it's happening at all is just horrifying. So hopefully 2018 brings with it less of this sort of thing and more just, you know, fun at the cinema. Now that you've watched this video and hopefully my previous video and have a pretty good grasp on everything that went right and wrong this year, I want to know what your least favorite part of 2017 was. Also, what was the worst film that you saw this year? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, click the link to be taken to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.